Serena, situation update, please. Getting visuals now, Captain. When you play the original Halo games, you know, an explosion takes up the whole screen. So I'm going to kill a fast-moving purple thing and it will come at me and die. In Halo Wars, it's going to be a view from 40 feet up, so it's not going to be one explosion, it's going to be 20. One of the things we wanted to do with Halo Wars was tell the Halo story, show the Halo universe in a different way, and actually bring strategy gaming to the console. In Halo Wars, you get to control everything. All the grunts and elites and brutes and choppers and ghosts and banshees and all these really cool vehicles plus a lot of the stuff we've added. Control heroes, you get to control Spartans, you get to control small armies of Spartans. Everything is under your control in a real-time strategy. We wanted something that the fans could see the things that they know and love from a different perspective. Spartan jacking uh, is, is one of the best things in the game. They jump on top of the enemy tanks and they beat the crap out of the tank, they rip off the hatch, they toss out the driver, they hop inside and then they take over that vehicle. And people are, are used to seeing that from a first person shooter standpoint, where everything's very large. But we have all that same detail in Halo Wars. Some of the battles in the game are small and some of the battles in the game are really big. What's cool about that, at least in the campaign, is that's based on how you play. If you spend more time going to fight the Covenant, you may be dealing with a larger force than if you would have gotten there quicker. And you get those choices, which is again the hallmark of a strategy game. How do I want to build my army out? And by the end, you've got you know, 12 or 15 Scorpion tanks rolling across the landscape, or you could have 40 or 50 Marines. And it's really kind of your choice. But it is a game more focused about combat, which is you know, certainly what the Halo fans will expect. Uh, people want to blow stuff up, myself included. It's a console game, stuff blows up really, really well in Halo Wars, but there's also a game where you have to think. The new part of this game is for a lot of people is actually playing RTS. In the FPS game, you're just using one single weapon and you have one single tactic. In our game, you actually have to employ multiple strategies on the screen at the same time. You're the general. 